Hello everybody, you're very welcome to episode 70 of the Le Mans Odyssey and uh, today is make or break for the club once more on the European stage. Uh, win today will put us on 7 points which would tie Fenerbahce provided Celtic win and it would put us 2 behind Celtic with the game to go. Uh, you know, with uh, the Champions League on the line, we need to get to uh, third place minimum as far as I'm concerned. So a loss today would uh, pretty much destroy those hopes as Juventus will probably win their last two games against Fenerbahce and uh, ourselves if that happens. So it's all on the line today. Celtic need a uh, win today to advance. Fenerbahce need the win to go top. And then we need the win to catch up to Celtic and then try and beat them on their home turf. So it's all happening for the Le Mans team but uh, we'll just take a quick look at our fixtures list I won't talk about the league at the moment I just want to get on with the episode uh, you can see we've got such a ridiculous schedule here uh, five games um, of absolute magnitude and uh, this could make or break our season starting with this Juventus game we go to our bitter rivals that we just cannot defeat Marseille then we play Paris Saint-Germain then we go to uh, Parkhead to play Celtic and then we play Bordeaux who are top of the league at the minute which I'll uh, ah fair enough I'll just show it really quickly there you go Bordeaux top by a single point we're second PSG seventh and Marseille eighth but of course they have the quality to uh, overcome the odds there so uh, I'll go into greater detail later on uh, if necessary but uh, now it's time to move on to the game and uh, we'll speak to you again at the uh, team talk screen Okay, welcome back. Here is a quick look at the lineups. Uh, Juventus go 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, as they usually do, and we're on the 4 2 3 1. Micho up top, Maritan and Ozzy Ozzy Carlos in midfield. So it's a pretty strong team. Uh, probably one of the best I could name. But unfortunately, we suffered injuries to du De Schwang and Adrian Delaunay, so we're very short in the central midfield position. So we're lucky that my two favourites are still available to play. But Du Schwang in particular got a two to three month injury, injury, so we won't be seeing much of him until the new year at least. So I'm very upset about that since we paid good money to bring him back home to Le Mans and where he belongs. So we see we're in great shape in terms of our confidence and we have to win this game if our Champions League dream is going to survive. Juventus will be a eliminated from a uh, progression should we win this game of course and we'll stand a great chance of finishing third as well so uh, that's what i expect from the team at least but it's going to be so difficult as they're uh, they're unbeaten in the last uh, several games and they destroyed celtic 5-1 uh, in their last game so big nerves we really can't afford to uh, lose this game but um I believe the players can do their very best. We'll start rigid, of course. We don't want to concede early. But here we go. Can we put in another epic 45 minutes like we did at the Juventus Stadium? This is it. It's Le Mans and Juventus. Here we go. Masakni on the ball uh, from Yamiago. Here's Jovicic. Can you find Misho who scored uh, goals for, for fun at the uh, Juventus Stadium? No, not quite. Um, decent start so far. Juventus not threatening. But we never know with their quality. Um, we're good on possession. We should get some shots on goal. Uh, Jordan Martin looking nervous. Not good news. Um, but we'll have to live with that. But now can we create our first chance? We're struggling to keep possession. We weren't at all recently. Jesus. Right. Not looking good. Uh, Amirish Terry booked. Um, right. We're told to play more direct passing. So... Or mustn't lose, whatever way you want to look at it. Because we're waiting for a goal to be filtered in from Vinderbach and Celtic. So, yeah, you can hear me teeth chattering. I am very nervous. So I don't want to lose. And I don't want to uh, see uh, us regret it. Oh, Miss Sackney, first chance of our uh, game. And he's put it over the bar. There we go. You can see there, nil-nil. Uh, it's in Vinderbach or Istanbul, whatever you want to call it. So, not looking great. Here's a corner. Jovicic can clear. Oh, Kir Kirikov went wide. Unlucky. Misho not having a great game whatsoever. Terry neither. Um, what a shocking first half. Really poor. And um, we'll have to uh, sort out our team. Very, very dreadful. But it's better than conceding five goals and being out of the game, of course. But really, that was not what I expected. We need to improve. Um, we can still come out with a win. Uh, 
not happy with Misho. I'm not happy with Terry either. Uh, they take it the right way. That's all good. I have faith in the other players. And uh, that should get a good response. It does. So here we go. Can we find that massive goal to put us into uh, you know, a huge opportunity against Celtic? We need to play through the defence now. See what happens. And yeah, yeah, Le Mans need to win this game. Juventus have been so poor throughout the entire group stage. It would be rather unjust to see them contend at our expense. But we just have to wait and see. Football is football. And uh, sometimes life isn't fair. We saw that with Colombia against Brazil last night. And uh, Brazil were obviously a very uh, disjointed outfit compared to what they were in the past. As Fenerbahce take the lead against Celtic. That puts Celtic in trouble. But it eliminates both teams if we can't get a result here. I think we'll have to go for it, lads. We have to go for it as a response. Yes, Fenerbahce are going to win. So Celtic's 12 out of 12 star as or 9 out of 9 starters capitulated entirely and we have a chance to overtake them only if we win this game so yeah Colombia have been a great team all throughout the World Cup Brazil play very negative football but it's got them to the semi-finals and that's just sometimes it, it grinds my gears but that's the way they had to win that game and they did so good for them but here we go Le Mans FC we have to find a way to win this game we have to do it in our own way, whether it be beautiful, whether it be ugly, or whether, you know, Juventus gift it. We have to wait and see. Very dreadful game, but it's just... Hmm, this is okay. Come on, lads, you have to win. Come on. Martin to Eddie Carlos. Back to Martin. Oh, it's a good ball. Misakni, Yami Ogo. Oh, hard luck. Terry wasn't going to get there now. Arigoni, Brunetti, Kabarov. Brunetti and Arigoni again. We're trying to keep them contained. Oh no, that's a break. Oh, goodness me. Best chance of the game and Juventus failed to take what should have been theirs. Harsh on them, but what a defensive tackle. Well, what do you do if you're own Harmon? Well, I, uh, we need goals and... Um... I'm going to entrust Anthony Delad with that task. He's been great in the League Cups and I think he deserves a moment of opportunity. He can play back in the camp position just in case. We're going to make him a, a, an advance forward, see what he can do. The other guys have been doing a good job. So a uh, big, big gamble. I'm putting on Anthony Delad, the underdog of this team. He's been the legend, but you wouldn't really know it since he doesn't really get the glory as Fusiani Cisse and... Uh, Shebish Rivers have but now this is his moment I've put my chips on Anthony Dad for Rakto Jovicic and this is a massive massive deal can we get the result or else we're going out and we'll have to beat Celtic just to get Europa League oh god no please no good clearance Yamayogo but it's only gone to Donadoni Masakni tackles great job but they were getting nervous now with... Look what happens here. Off the crossbar. Oh, the atmosphere is dying. But that was a big scare. Very, very big scare. The defense is doing a marvelous job. As they... You know, nine times out of ten, they play very well. But it just hasn't happened today. Uh, for our attackers. So, Misho... Um, I think he'll have to come off as well. Here's Bernardo, Diawara, Zhang, Yamiogo, Masakni. Here we go. Masakni dribbles inside. Yamiogo back to him. Two in the box if you need them. Come on, get in the box. Jose Eddie Carlos, Masakni outside. Darrard! Oh, that was his chance. Oh, the keeper kicks it short. We're going to make our change now. Fusiani Cisse on for uh, the misfiring Misho. And well, we're going to change Darard's role again. Fusiani Cisse, the target man. Eddie Carlos will be our playmaker. <sighs> Pressure cooker times now. Uh, I could bring on Orban as well. I think I will. We'll try and bring on fresh legs for the wing. Samarush Terry on a yellow. Not what I like to see. But this is our best team. We need to attack. Um, 
it would be terrible if we lost. Like I've said, I've had it in the past where we needed to win a game, but a draw would have been better than a loss, and we took a loss. So um, I obviously wrecked your mood as well as my own. So 15 minutes to survive and prosper in the Champions League. Can we do it? Le Mans just dying for a goal now. The fans are expectant. Fustiani C saying Anthony Dard, one last time to shine. Oh my god, what do I do? I think we're going to go very fluid. Um, uh, pump the ball into the box. Oh, I'm actually shaking. This is very nerve wracking. Juventus haven't hit a shot on target. Um, Jordan Martin has been knocked. Um, so we'll keep him on. We don't have a choice. Um, come on, Le Mans, please do this for me. Come on. I may have to change the fullbacks to all-out attack as well. Because they have no flanks. Here's Fusiani Cissé. Come on, run. Run, man. Good man. Oh, it's completely gone awry. Fusiani should have been taking the cross. Here's Asamoa Sudanovic. Asamoa! Oh, big chance. But Quadro Asamoa, a legend in the country of Ghana, has uh, failed his his club there. Here's Orban. Run. Keep running. And Yamiogo. Eddie Carlos. Oh, it was a good effort. Rubio. Trying to find space. Oh, goodness me. It's bounced. Oh, they get out of the box. A long shot. And Juventus are starting to get into their comfort zone we have to gamble with these wingers now I, I suspect that's all we can redo we're gonna put them into support and wing back oh my god this is really stupid you're gonna regret this aren't you man aren't you just come on Lamont please do this for me please Sudanovic interception Cissé now oh he's lost it himself Martinez Donadoni Fokker Oh, that is absolute nonsense. Come on. Show me a bit of mercy. Fuck's sake. Right, we're going to try and respond straight away. Bamba has the ball. He goes for a goal. But the keeper was easily going to get there. Zhang. Through to Orban. Cissé! He's done it! 1-1! One, one. And we're back in the game! Oh, I don't believe that! Come on, don't give it up now, please. Come on. Come on, please. Get that ball, get that ball. Come on. Bamba, Martin, Delad. He finds Orban. Orban to cross. Come on. Oh, come on, penalty. Yes, yes. It's in from CT. CT turned the game around. 2-1. 2-1 in the dying minutes! Get in there! Oh, we're going for a third! I don't believe it! The game froze on my special moment! Yes! No! Oh, damn it! Oh. Unbelievable! Quite frankly, that was unbelievable. Cissé trying to get a hat-trick. Diawara clears. Cissé, Eddie Carlos, Darad. Cissé, Martin. Oh no, he's gone! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! This is absolutely ridiculous! Oh no! Defend lads! Come on, we're so close! Right, contain, contain, come on! Two minutes, one minute away! From a one-stop shot at Champions League knockout stage football. Studenovic. We're closing him down. Blocked. It's only got to Sakai. Asamoa saved by Bernardo. Can we do the double over the mighty event to see? They can only head it to Liali. Come on. Eddie Carlos. Asamoa. Bamba. Come on. Oh, Eddie Carlos wins the ball. He's been, he's given away. Cissé! Oh, he's offside, but surely the ref has to blow. Come on, that's time. No more. Surely not now. Come on. 
Oh, the stupid making tactical changes bollocks has come back, ruining the, the buzz really. Contain. It's all over! Yes! Yes! We have a chance! It's complete turnaround! Oh, Le man, why, oh, why have you done that to me? You could have done it so much earlier than that. But it all counts. All we have to do is defeat a declining Celtic at their ground. And we are through to the knockout stages. Orban and Cissé, the super subs, have made this one of the other great moments. It was spoiled by the computer not registering it in time. But I don't care. There you have a look at that group. Look at that group. We're in for a huge finale. Celtic, we must win. We have Europa League football minimum as a result of this. That is phenomenal. But... No, no, no. Uh, we've lost three very good midfields. We're down to Mahodo, Eddie Carlos, and Ludovic Robert. So huge, huge issues in that position now. But we've shown some heck of a fight to get that result. Well, I think that was too dramatic to not, I'll, to not split into two halves. I think that was just too much drama for one episode. So uh, we'll see you for the massive Celtic game in in just two weeks and my god if we win that everything changes at this club and uh, no two ways about it so thank you very much for watching and we'll speak again soon but I will be cutting out some of the boring moments so you won't have to see them but bye for now